Well, hey, I got home from work quite a while ago. It's like nine-ish. And this has been a big adulting day. So like I said in yesterday's vlog, my mom was here this morning and um, when I bought my furnace, there was like, you know, with, with the purchase of the furnace, there was like a tune up for your AC unit, you know, whenever you want. And then they contacted me and let me know, you know, hey, do you want to set up an appointment? I'm like, oh sure, no problem. I set up the appointment and they couldn't do anything because my AC unit is like right next to a fence and right next to that fence is the access panel. So they couldn't do anything. So anyway, I live in an association. I live in attached townhomes. So I contacted my neighbors that are like my wall neighbors and the guy that lives there, his name's Clark. Hi Clark. <laughs> He's not watching. He knows nothing about this. He actually used to be the president of the HOA like back when I moved in and now he doesn't do that anymore. So somebody else is president, which is totally fine, but it um, really doesn't have anything to do with the story. But anyway, Clark's a super nice guy. So I texted them and I'm like, hey, um, can we may maybe meet like tonight or tomorrow night or whatever? Um, I want to see if like this partition can be taken down. And um, they're like, yeah, we think it can. I'm like, okay, great. Well, let's meet up and let's, you know, talk about it, whatever. So I told them my predicament that there has to be 24 inches of clearance between my AC unit and like some sort of wall or the next AC unit. Well, come to find out that their AC unit is maybe a little more than a foot away from my AC unit. And that's how the builder put them in. Yeah. <laughs> So theirs is on their cement pad, mine's on my cement pad. We both have our original um, AC units, all that good stuff. And now the um, AC company, if they wanted to just like rotate mine, which would require like more hosing and stuff like that, uh, wants like almost $2,000 and I'm like, no. <laughs> So, I mean, and nothing's wrong with my AC, that's the thing. Um, but clearly the old owner never got the AC ever checked because if they did, they would have found this out. So anyway, Clark is gonna be removing the um, partition between us um, probably tomorrow and then tomorrow night if it's done by the time I get home, which it may or may not be, I mean, it's no big deal. Um, I'm gonna measure between our, you know, our AC units like this, <laughs> like that, and um, email the uh, place that did my heating and or they're like a heating and cooling company and I'll just let them know what the difference is between it and it's like, hey, if you can even try, like that'd be great, but if not, I totally understand, um, but everything's working fine, so I clearly don't want to get a new AC unit, but that's my adulting for the day. It's very exciting stuff. But um, the favorite mama was here um, during the day because she had to let the like AC person in, and then Doyle had a great- Hey! Stop doing that! I'm gonna show you on camera. He's doing naughty things. Um, Doyle had a great time because he got to go on a like a, a little long walk with the with the Grammy, didn't you, bud? Hey, Dober. He's just just judging the world. <laughs> oh, this dog! I swear. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? He doesn't. He doesn't even know what he's doing. But anyway, um, that is what I've been doing. So anyway, hopefully. Fingers crossed, I don't have to talk to the association because the association really sucks. <laughs> and that's why my neighbor doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> they went with like a cheaper place and it's like out of state now. So like no one actually comes to check to see if like the vendors or the service people that they hire are actually doing their jobs. Um, it's, just, it's just weird now. So anyway. Um, I am going to, since it's like nine o'clock, I'm, I'm going to bed in like hopefully a few minutes. I'm just gonna do a couple things online and then I'm gonna go. Um, I am not going to edit you tonight. I'm sorry, I just, I just can't do it, okay? And I have a few emails to deal with here. So this is exciting. Ooh, I have another Etsy purchase that's coming. <laughs> if I get this purchase while the vlogging series is going on, I'll show it to you. It's coming from 
looks like Michigan. Yeah, I think it's coming from Michigan. Um, so yeah, it should be here in a few days. So I got you. I got you. Ooh. And I should say, tomorrow there is going to be some fun and I'm going to bring you guys with me and hopefully I can show just a little bit of what I'm doing. What is up with my face? What is that? Oh, it's like a piece of fuzz or something. Okay, anyways. Oh my god, distracted by the viewfinder. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna do something really fun tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna go out to eat with a friend and have a good time, hopefully. I'm sure we will. And then we are going, I know, I'm going sports balling, guys. I know. I'm not playing, I'm just observing. Just observing the sports ball. So I'm deciding if I should wear my t-shirt that says hooray sports hold on i'll show you guys because i don't know if you guys have seen it before i'm sure some of you might have i think i've shared it before but it's amazing dun, 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 dun. we gotta go into the bright bright closet okay so let me let me get the sports ball shirt it's over here somewhere we gotta find it Ooh, here it is Whoa. it says Hooray sports do the thing when the points it's like really wrinkly, but I think I think I might just like Bring this with me in my bag tomorrow and see if it just like jumps on my body That could work. You never know Um, but yeah tomorrow's supposed to be like I don't know like 85 degrees or something so I think that'll work itself out and um, Yeah, here's my no color colorful closet mm. yep <sighs> anyway and since we're in the closet let's have a chat about something so I've had these hold on I have a gray one like this too let me show you so I've had these which they're super cute ponchos from UGG like UGG UGG whatever UGG 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 Anyway, it's a, it's a medium large, but it really fits like a large XL. Um, yeah, but it's super freaking cute. It's so soft, but for me, so unfunctional. It's just ridiculous. So I don't know what to do with these. These were super expensive. I remember getting a good deal on them, I think. Well, it's not really a good deal if you don't like use them, right, Emily? The, um, they were like a hundred bucks a piece, like 98 or something like that. And that was with the sale. I got them at Nordstrom um, a couple of years ago. I think I've worn this like twice ever. Uh, yeah, and I've never, I don't think I've ever worn the gray. Let me look at the gray. Yeah, I don't think I've ever worn the gray. But they're super cute, but I don't know. like. It bothers me. Okay, so here's what bothers me about them. It bothers me when I have to drive. Like, you buckle your seatbelt and, like, you got these little bat wing things. You can't really drive in them. Um, mm, I don't know. I'm having, like, a closet dilemma. So, I just don't know, like, who in my life would want them. I was thinking maybe, like, my mom might want them, but... I mean, let's be honest, she lives in Florida, so I don't, I don't think that, I mean, and that's like really not her style, to be honest. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know who would want them. But I don't want to just like give them to the thrift store, you know? Like, mm. <sighs> I'm having problems. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any ideas, <laughs> please let me know. They're so nice. But, again, I've never, I don't know that they just they're not for me oh and and cool thing there's like a little poncho pocket like there's like a little kangaroo pocket it's so nice but guys and now i feel stupid for spending like 200 dollars on these and then never wearing them so lesson learned i'm not a poncho lady I ain't your poncho lady. So yeah, I'm more of a, uh, a hoodie individual. You can't see the top. There you go. There's the top. Um, yeah, I'm more of a, a, a hoodie connoisseur. And yes, I can wear hoodies and sweatshirts at my work, 
which is great. I just, I don't really wear like screen printed things unless they're like branded. So yeah. And here's all my like, here's all of my like branded clothing for work, but I don't have to always wear that. So anyway, uh, I don't know. These things make me mad every time I look at them. <laughs> okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these to the side. I'm putting them over here. I'm gonna put them over here. And then once I release the vlog, hopefully you guys can give me some good ideas. Maybe there's some like women's shelters or something, or I don't know, maybe I know one of you in real life and you're like, this is totally my jam, I want this. I don't know. Uh -oh. The struggle, you guys, the struggle. And I do need to um, like actually go through my closet fairly soon-ish and um, do another purge, which seems crazy because I just did that. But it's kind of amazing the stuff you don't wear. Hold on, I'm gonna get out of the harsh lighting. So it's kind of amazing the stuff you don't wear because I have noticed that I kept a few things that I was like, okay, well, if I don't wear it by the next purge, then I'll get rid of it. They're still hanging up in the closet with tags on them. It's a problem. <sighs> so anyway, all right, I'm gonna go. I've been blabbering on for too long. It's time for bed, time to wash off the makeup and do the things and go to sleep and start a new day tomorrow. So anyways, thank you for watching Valoon. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, Give that the thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe, and I will be back tomorrow with another vliggity vlog. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.